To those who say that Cardano isn't really getting adoption and there's nothing happening, nothing being built, I raise you this. Cardano is obviously an infrastructure ecosystem. That's what it's really building out right now. But not only is it working on blockchain infrastructure, it's also working on global infrastructure. And actually, this came out just yesterday. Now, eTuckTuck, the world's first Cardano-based automotive project, has announced its plans to launch operations in the South Asian nation of Sri Lanka. This development announced that this year's World Economic Forum in Davos, Davos has the potential to transform transportation industry for people around the globe. Now, the eTuckTuck ecosystem also includes the Cardano or utilizes the Cardano blockchain to expand its network of charging stations and proprietary electric vehicles to assist areas with limited EV infrastructure in moving away from fossil fuels. That is how you get adoption, guys. <laughs> this having a real, real world use case is how you grow Cardano. That is how you bring in people that even aren't currently in crypto. Okay, we're seeing these sorts of things starting to happen. For example, Clear Cryptos just announced the other day that they had made a partnership with USFCR. Okay, that is to help facilitate government contracts with small, medium, and large businesses. This launch by Cardano is going to help with EV vehicle infrastructure. Okay, now they also went on to further to say the use of Cardano's secure transaction system eliminates the need for physical physical cards or cash promoting a decentralized system that is more interconnected and supporting the development of robust, smart cities. Guys, this is exactly what we're talking about. This is what Cardano has been building for. It's the same, you know, they're so diversified when it comes to these real world use case situations. For example, we now have this EV infrastructure coming for Sri Lanka. We have the launch of a, a mobile network in Africa. There's, there's so many things that are still being conceptualized at this point that will be put in place. And Cardano is the the foundation for all these things. It's the building block that these are going to, you know, build off of. That's the thing, thing to remember. Okay. Cardano has always been about the slow game. It's always been about the long game. They've never tried to race to the finish and beat out the competitors that way. They have their own way of doing things. And this is this is the thing that works. This is how you bring global adoption to crypto and blockchain. Right. This is how it all begins. And Cardano is seizing this by the horns right now in this time where crypto is down and really pushing the edge of what our current system or uh, the edge of the current system that exists at this time. That's the key thing to remember. Do I expect more of these you know, partnerships and launches to occur as we move through the year? Absolutely. Cardano is going to be <laughs> it's going to be insane this year. There's so much launching. We've gone through the roadmap. There's so much launching on Cardano, but there's so much happening outside of Cardano as well that will that will continue to grow the chain, that will continue to grow use case, and things are just going to be interesting in 2023 to say the least. But I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you guys found this information useful. At least I know it's not you know your normal um, normal stuff about Cardano you know in in blockchain itself but this just goes to show you that there is stuff happening outside outside Cardano that involves Cardano too so if that makes sense but I appreciate you guys as always hope you guys enjoyed the video and I really hope to see you guys in the next one take care